finally, let's look at support vector machine. Um, to use this in Worker, click on choose again here. Um, let's select SMO from the function button. So here we're going to choose this. Uh, so SMO just stands for sequential minimal uh, optimization. Uh, again, this is just uh, an efficient optimization uh, algorithm that we use inside the SPM um, implementation. Okay. Now the objective of um, so if we look at SMO support vector machine, so uh, the objective here is to find a hyperplane, right, in an n-dimensional space that classifies our data uh, points uh, based on the maximum margin between uh, these two distinct classes. Okay. Uh, so this is the goal of uh, SP SPM. So what that means, uh, these are actually the support vectors, right? Uh, these are the data points that are closer to the Actually, this is uh, what we call a support vector. Uh, it's, it's closer to the hyperplane. And this will influence the position and orientation of the, the plane. Okay. Uh, now that we know that, we can build our SPM. In fact, uh, in an SPM algorithm, uh, the goal here is to maximize the margin, right, between the data points and the hyperplane. Okay. Now, there's uh, something called the loss function. The loss function that actually helps us to maximize this margin is called the hinge loss, okay? Uh, but that's beyond the scope of this video. All right, so let's see what we can configure here. We can see we have the batch size, you know, we can choose the calibrator here. We have access to all these different algorithms. You can play around with that uh, and just see uh, which one uh, suits your needs. So for now, we'll just leave everything as default. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and run this. Uh, again, you can see here, um, it does a better job of, you know, reducing our false negative, meaning that our recall goes up compared to um, lazy uh, uh, KNN, compared to, you um, can see we have 82% here, uh, Nave base here, we have 84%, random forest, we have 83, uh, trees here, we have 73, compared to uh, SVM, which is for almost 90% recall. And in fact, we can see uh, it has the lowest number of false negative. Uh, this is what we want to pay attention to, right? Uh, so in fact, we can say here, uh, support vector machine, uh, which is one of my favorite, uh, does a better job of, you know, uh, reducing the uh, number of incorrectly classified. If you see here again, can see based on accuracy, in fact, has one of the highest accuracies compared to all these others, right? So if you look at that, uh, you can see it has one of the lowest incorrectly classified instances. So here, uh, support vector probably just does a better job in, um, you know, uh, handling this uh, classification problem. All right. So in conclusion here, we've looked at the five popular uh, classification machine learning algorithm in Worker. Okay. Um, also, we've uh, looked at where possible. Uh, different configuration parameters where we can uh, tune for each uh, tune for each algorithm and we've seen how to apply that in worker okay